In this video, we're just going to take a look at this scene and some of the objects within here. Now, what's interesting about this is, once again, I'm still using textures to help bring the scene to life. And without the textures, I really wouldn't be able to create this object easily. I mean, it was just as simple as ever. So, well, in the first case, you can see the uh, texture reflecting into the glass. That, in one case, helps bring this object to light because it adds like extra highlights throughout the object. But the important aspect of this particular image is that really when I created this image, if you look closely, see these little circles, they're kind of just, uh, th there are a bunch of ellipses is what I created. I happen to like ellipses a lot. They're kind of, they make for really cool designs. And in my texture map creation program, I create all kinds of elliptical shapes and designs and gradient colors and the whole nine yards. But so the, it was a really simple, basic map that I created and I I'm using a higher resolution texture map. It was 1024 by 1024 that didn't that didn't use the entire bitmap. And it also has it's also a 32 bit image. So that means I have eight bits of that image reserved for alpha values. Well when I actually created this image, normally when you're creating alpha maps you you go into a paint program, you create a black and white version of your original image you you know you're specifying the white portions of it to be opaque and the black portions to be transparent and then you bring it in and you use your nodes or if you use a blender render you use that approach as well but in here I didn't use a separate alpha map I basically the way I use the nodes is that I just was able to use a single image I didn't have to go into my paint program and create a separate alpha map and yet you can see it's completely alpha based all the way through and the nice thing about this is with the node set up like this I can turn this object here like this I can I can use the um, animation tools and keyframe between completely opaque and completely transparent I can go from white to any other color with animation or I could take this and move this directly into a solid object because it's just a map on top of an object to be able to create the shape or I could take this and go to like a you know sparkly effect maybe like what you would see in the, with a transporter and so it gives me a great deal of options because you can keyframe all those uh, parameters using the node editor. So if you're not familiar with the node editor, you can check out um, my playlist. I have a playlist that's dedicated to cycles and nodes. So and it get, it'll get you up and running really fast on how to do it. But so textures are play an integral part in many of the scenes that I create, and there'll be many more examples um, starting next month when I get my SciFiAnimator.com website up and running, where you'll be able to find lots of textures and all kinds of other stuff. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.